What's up YouTube and welcome to a stature combo deck that has been labeled a meta breaker here and there. You might notice right away the layout for today's video is different and that is because the gameplay for today's video is going to be taken from the recent frame break tournament in Switzerland. A high profile tournament where this deck overperformed and allowed for some very interesting series. And one of these series I did have the pleasure to cast alongside Nina and it was a very exciting one but before we jump into this I just want to give a rough quick overview of what this deck does. The early game is very straightforward. Most of the time we want to play Colleen trying to hit something like the Swarm for a nice power boost. We can play Moon Knight early on to disrupt our opponent while also already discounting our stature and Sunspot is going to be key later on to soak up some energy and convert it into power because on turn 4 we ideally are going to play Moon Girl and we want to either copy She-Hulk. If we copy She-Hulk we pass turn 5 and play 2 She-Hulks on turn 6 and we still still have four energy left over for some other crazy plays. Maybe a Shang-Chi to counter our opponent's stuff. Maybe we can squeeze Stature in. The other line of play is turn four Moon Girl copying Stature. On turn five we play Black Bolt and both of the Statures again are only gonna cost one on the final turn so we can play them besides Shuri maybe buffing them up for a ton of energy or Shang-Chi to counter our opponent's stuff. So the general play pattern is some early game then Moon Girl on turn four, turn five either Black Bolt or Pass and turn six go two discounted one cost cards and ideally a four drop either Shang-Chi or Shuri. And without further ado let's hope right into the exciting live tournament action. But here we see a combo that I think we also mentioned and theory crafted yesterday because it's Churi into Black Bolt mm -hmm. on turn 5 yes. and then on turn 6 you ideally do drop Stature and Task... Uh, or rather Taskmaster and Stature. Um, I'm not... We didn't see a Taskmaster here, I believe. No, no, no. But we can drop maybe a bunch of small cards. We have Swarm... Um, and I, I think... A lot of other cards as well that can be played together with Stature. Yeah, it does leave five energy open. It's absolutely enormous. So Yorick here with a pretty interesting opening hand going for more of the standard... Uh, <laughs> I've just been told that uh, the player who snaps is is actually going to physically snap on stream. So oh, now we'll know who. <laughs> I love it. That is a great change. But actually, was Yorick um, the same Deadpool player from the first series that you were casting with Specimen? No, I cast a Snow. Snow's deck. Ah, okay, interesting. Uh, and I think it was Snow and Lix. That might be might be true. So yeah, Snow and Snow was playing the uh, Sandman deck, and I think Lix was playing a Deadpool destroy deck. Yeah, that, yeah, that one might have been it. A very one-sided affair it has been. Snow yeah, here. that was just painful to watch, to be honest. Yeah, of the course, Sandman, Sandman completely Sandman countering. the leader and then Odin the leader. Mm, oof. Yeah. <laughs> Yorick with a pretty, well, top-end heavy start here, not finding any useful cards early on. I love Mr. Fantastic into um, Dark Dimensions, Dark Dimension, because you... you Usually don't expect it, and then it adds like surprise four power to the other like locations, two on each side. Usually does, but in this case, I'm pretty sure the Dark Dimension was revealed later on, um, on turn four. Oh, like the, okay. It got turned into Dark Dimension right. because we do see the Mr. Fantastic face up, giving a huge, um, a hugely important right, boost yes. in priority here. I think we really need to focus on what exactly these players are putting where here, because otherwise everything is going to be concealed by the two Dark Dimensions. And this actually is quite awkward for Sandman deck because he has nowhere to put his Sandman. He didn't get his ramp card out, right? There was no... Was yeah. there Was there a ramp card? Um, no, there was no ramp card. The, it was 5 energy on turn 5 and just trying oh, to get carried the, by... The leader. Leader and the oh? dinosaur, but the She-Hulk oh, beyond wait. the Shuri. But the She-Hulk will get copied and because Snow has priority, it actually does not benefit him here. No? No, leader gets the full 18 power Darkhawk. But, uh, uh, she had but a copy, but the Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic takes the win. The big difference maker here. So this was an interesting dynamic because, as the leader player, in this case, you do not want to have priority. You first want the Shuri to flip. You first want the She Hulk to mm -hmm. flip. She is at 18 power and then gets copied. Oh, if so if you have initiative, then it's only a nine. Exactly. If the leader player would have had priority. It copies before the buff gets applied. It's only nine. But, but in, this, in case, this case, it didn't really matter. Did not make a difference because Mr. Fantastic carried hard. Yeah. And it was Mr. Fantastic and Shuri. Because he didn't copy the Shuri. So I guess the mm -hmm. leader buff 
didn't make him as strong as he was before. Because yeah. before you would have copied both Shuri and the um, She-Hulk. Absolutely, and the leader would have tied that location. But here we see Snow with an aggressive opening with Sunspot and Ebony Maw getting mirrored by Ebony Maw on Ebony the Yorick side. Oh, and now nobody can oh. play anything. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and then that blocks the oh, ramp turn that is so no. big. I mean, I, I, I'll be quite honest, I'm a bit happy to see it, to see yeah, some Electro too. Sandman players get, just get punished here. <laughs> but, um, and also we see Yorick doesn't have Sandman in his hand yet. Yeah. But Devil Dinosaur and Nick Fury is also a good alternative to ramp into here. Snow did get the better of that trade, hiding the sunspot behind Ebony Mon, therefore potentially getting power into that location every mm -hmm. turn. Black Bolt coming down, a card that is definitely underplayed. Yes. Did see a bit of a revival with the addition of Stature. I wonder if it would be a good turn for Snow to snap, because there's no Sandman. He is in a much better position than Yorick, because, you know, his Electro got blocked. Even if Sandman comes down on this turn, this he still has a pretty good chance. This oh, but oh, Magneto into Fisk Tower, maybe? This is a very cruel play, just annihilating the Mr. Fantastic, taking away one of the advantages that Snow had so far. Mm -hmm. But also, that threat is now gone. Snow does not have to worry about Magneto anymore. Black Bolt does discard uh, something of lesser importance here. <laughs> I didn't quite see what it was. And I Snow think it was Wave. Yeah, it must have been Wave, which is, of course, pointless after Electra already ramped. And Snow does have the stature potential here on turn 6. Also can combi that, uh, combo that with a Shuri. It is a very telegraphed play though. But you could go Shuri into stature, float one energy on Sunspot, and you would still tie with the Doctor Doom on the right side. Oh, that's side. true. You're right. The right play is to not play anything at all? No, I think Snow... To play stature and not play anything else? Uh, stat uh, Snow can go Shuri and stature on the left side and would still have one energy left over. And then that would tie with Doctor Doom. Exactly. Then that would tie the Doom bot on the right side. And I'm pretty sure Snow wins would win tie the tiebreaker. Breaker. Oh, that looks like exactly that's, that's exactly what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, it's a very intuitive play. But maybe he's worried about Odin. Odin into Magneto, but that oh, doesn't that's do true. Much. That doesn't do much. I think he's worried about, about something Arrow? like Dinosaur Middle. No. But that also doesn't do much. I think it's a very safe play. If I'm not mistaken, Shuri left into... Shuri... Stature oh. left. It's also <gasps> safe from Arrow. And I don't... Wait. Oh, just Stature to make Sunspot grow enough to not even go into yes. a tiebreaker situation. That's what I was thinking before. Okay. You just play Stature, you don't play Shuri, and then the Sunspot will just grow big enough to... Great point, actually. Oh, he might have been playing around Shang-Chi. I'm not quite sure if the Electro Sandman deck was teched like did tag in mm. Shang-Chi, that would of course blow out Shuri. Yeah, of course. And that might have actually been an even smarter... That is actually like, big brain play. Yeah. Might have been the very smartest line of play in this situation. Yes. So a well-deserved victory here for Snow. Yeah, that was great play. Avoids Shang-Chi and also... Did they have initiative? Who had initiative? I'm pretty sure it was the Shuri player, it was Snow. Mm -hmm. So in, the, in so, yeah. this situation, playing around Shang-Chi makes a lot of sense. It's a great play. Super Very. Flux is something that the Sandman player, of course, loves to see. Getting oh. the wave out on turn two already. This is so good with Ebony Maw as well. Like, in this situation, it won't be useful. Mm -hmm. be later on you love to see it okay also this is going to be interesting the wave black bolt interaction makes the discard entirely random yes that's true leader Could also, be anything yeah leader also copies black bolt so both players will lose <gasps> one random arrow. card from their hand and, and arrow <laughs> go double arrow <laughs> both arrows gone no more movement <gasps> manipulation except for new york being one of the locations in this game new york is probably one of my least favorite locations because you never know what your opponent's going to do i absolutely agree with you on that there's so much randomness and yes. mind games involved it's impossible to cover all of the options oh looks like snow is going all in on the right location maybe because Knowing that Yorick plays the dinosaur, you don't really want to contest Hala here. You don't also, want to the dino card. is pretty small, honestly. Yeah, true. 
Oh, double but She-Hulk. Oh, I like this play a lot. We might see a skip and double She-Hulk. Double She-Hulk, double Kalibwing. Double She-Hulk, double, yes. That is a lot of power out of nowhere, but it did. And with the Sunspot down, it also makes a lot of sense. Still using that energy. Shang-Chi being drawn as well. That can take out the Devil Dinosaur later on, depending mm -hmm. on what Yorick does with hand space. Yeah, that's true. So far I think we're going to see Magneto play again to move... And we saw the physical snap here from oh. Snow, I believe it was. Yes, he did a little yeah. snap. This is a very big help for us as casters, uh, basically integrating and uh, physically showing where the snap is actually coming from, because for us it's hard to tell. Yes, I absolutely very... love it. I think it's quite hard for the viewers to see as well. Mm -hmm. If it's hard for us, it's because the, the audience is seeing the same thing we're seeing. Yeah, so oh. now we can better tell. Two oh, steps okay. The early Magneto's coming out, shutting down both ramps. Like it kind of helps the Mr. Fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It <laughs> is very nice for the Mr. Fantastic. And these cars can still get moved to the right side on turn 6. So the Magneto oh, basically just no. being played for high power numbers. Is it going to be Odin leader? Potentially. But this is But look, the Shanchi is so awkward. You, yes. Do you know your opponent? Is the opponent going to move the dino? Or is it, are they going to keep it there? It's so hard to tell. But you can cover two locations here, right? You just <gasps> put both She-Hulks into one of the what locations. What if you just play Colleen's and not She-Hulks? And then your your dino is going to be tiny. Wait, how does that, does that work? I don't think it does anything. Oh no. It's the She-Hulks are going to get copied. But yeah, th that's a good point. Like that would give a, a weaker leader copy target. But I do agree with what Snow is doing here. I think you can just try to hardcore force one location with double She Hulk. Mm -hmm. That's the location you're planning to win, and in the other one, you just play Shang Chi. But, but the leader is just gonna copy one. No, no it's, it's copy, copy two. two. It, co it copies Ooh. both She Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. Oh. But the Shang Chi takes care of the one. Because the way oh, of and the She Hulk! <gasps> we just because they had it, yes! We just highlighted this earlier oh, on. Priority wow. is so incredibly important when it comes to leader plays. <gasps> it's very hard to keep up. Oh my god! And one by, by one, one power, point! All calculated! Oh, that was a <laughs> huge brain play. That was so five head. And you saw the big sigh of relief from Snow, yeah. who does take the series in this high cube <laughs> final game. You know what? I love seeing Leader being beaten. Oh, you gotta love it. Especially by such a creative play. Yes. Also, it, it just feels so bad to lose the Leader. It feels like, you know, you did your homework mm -hmm. and then someone just copies it. <laughs> it's it, it, Especially, like, in this situation, it required so much setup to get the double She-Hulk, like the Moon Girl, the Float and everything. Yes. And uh, Leader just straight up copying it. Okay, mm -hmm. Yorick going for an early retreat here. Not sure. Oh? He didn't like his opening hand or... Uh, oh, yeah, there's no ramp card. There's no yeah. Sandman. Oh, and he is on the last cube. I Yorick. think we might see... And Snow is still full on cubes. Yeah, this Ten? might be a blowout. This might be a, a retreat, honestly. But we do see Electro. This means that Yorick has to win five games in a row because we're at double stakes. Absolutely. In order to win. It's not impossible. It's very unlikely. Especially the way that like Snow has been shooting up, uh, putting up a performance so far. Mm -hmm. Piloting the deck well and the matchup seems alright, but does get punished here by playing into a blind location. Oh. Super Flux shuts down the ramp while Yorick loves to see it. Ramp for a ramp deck? I'll <gasps> take that. But wait, Yorick into the, the um, Yorick Oscorp is, Tower. Yes, Yorick can play Electro into Oscorp Tower, shutting down the swarms, shutting down the She-Hulk plays. Yes, the swarms need to come down now. Oh, Let's oh, see. that is so mean. This is a very hard read to make for oh, Snow's no, side. Oh no, wait, no! I think this is already spelling disaster. This is You can see it on Snow's but face. But it's okay, Snow has cubes to spare. Yeah, I think... He did a little wave, did you see? He waved at him, <laughs> Yorick. The <laughs> trash talk, the DM, oh, the, the mind I games coming it. in. Psychological warfare, something <laughs> that you have way more of. This is the beauty of, you know, in-person tournaments. Absolutely. Get in your opponent's head. Love to see it. And but Yorick's you know what? If I were Snow, I'd be relaxed. I mean, I have 10 cubes. Exactly. I can afford to lose one game or two, you know? It's fine. It's fine. You still have plenty of chances. Not every game you accidentally blindly play into Super Flux. Shuri does come out on the right side, kind of giving away the next play. Oh? I <gasps> A destroyer? And no. Ooh, that's some synergy here. But there's not much stuff to destroy. 
Because the Electro was oh, donated it, oh, away. <laughs> leader is coming down again. Yeah, it's going to be another leader. Leader into Odin. Leader if we can draw Odin next turn. Bit of a tough decision to make here. Moon Girl gets played into the right side, not really doing anything, but being safe from Chang Chi. Uh, shutting down the oh, ramp, though. True. Not that it matters anymore, but. We can't draw Odin anymore, so we can't copy the leader. Oh, the dino's coming yeah. down. But there's no point in snow retreating. That's the only reason why I snow think, is yeah, staying. Yeah, this is it. I think this is it. There is. Yeah, it's very easy for Yorick to take this one. Mm -hmm. Just from Yorick's point of view, just pull ahead in all three locations, and there's nothing that Snow can do about it. No card in their deck saves them from their from this misery, and that's exactly what Yorick is going for. Hanging on here, trying to go for the reverse sweep, the miracle comeback. It's possible. It is possible. Dream is still alive. Let's see I believe. Th Although, who are you rooting for? Um, definitely the stature player. Yeah, me not too. Not the Sandman <laughs> player. Me too. Is that mean? No, yeah, no personal offense to anyone. It's We're definitely just, not personal. Yeah. It's just the leader. <laughs> it, it's that card. It bugs me. Okay, so Sokovia, we did not catch the discards in time. Nowhere is there basically a free Cosmo impacting the game. Arrow and Shang-Chi got discarded, we just got word in. Mm -hmm. So Arrow on Yorick's side must have been, and Snow lost Shang-Chi, which can be annoying. Shang-Chi has been proven his worth in this matchup yes, so far. Yes, definitely, against the Dino. Thank you. And uh, Electro will most likely go down here. Wave is also an interesting option, though. Yeah, we have nowhere as well, so there's only two places Electro can go. Oh? Okay, Wave and Wait, What's the reason for playing Wave instead of Electro? I mean, this uh, shuts down, shuts your opponent out of one more turn. If you wave on turn three, they're already handicapped on turn four, basically. They're mm -hmm. already restricted on turn four. And uh, then Sandman takes over for turns five and six. If you Electro on three, and then Sandman on four, yeah. your opponent can still play multiple cards on oh, turn four. Oh, that's very true, you're right. So that's but why you, can't, you can't play your Doom and stuff. I guess because he, yeah. he doesn't have Doom in hand, then yeah, so this uh, wave was the better play here for sure. It, it depends a little bit on which oh, player you're thing. trying to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the punishment, the potential punishment of not going for the other line of play. Um, you, you lock yourselves oh. out of the Doom into Odin combo. Yeah. But also, Dino on Nowhere would have been so good, but we have Avengers... Compound? Is that what it's called? Avenger, Avengers... The names yeah. are on, in French, so I don't... Oh, we can practice our French. <laughs> the le, le base des Avengers. Oh, and your, your <laughs> French is really good. <laughs> I try. <laughs> School French paid off after all. Um, very restricted game here. Now, Snow has Arrow, which is good in this matchup, but is just behind in two locations, which is not something... Not a position you want to be in. No Dr. Doom in hand. Snow needs well, to basically win. Well, no, Snow is ahead in two locations. Yeah, yeah. And for Yorick, this is either a Doctor Doom or a leader play. My bad, I saw that incorrectly. The for Doom, a yes, but we need to potentially play around Doctor Doom. So, oh, but we can't. There's no way. There is no way. Yeah, this is tricky. Snow is being put in an awkward spot once again. The She Hulk is big, but not big enough because Nowhere gets flipped around. Back into Yorick's favor and mm -hmm. still on that dream. On Yorick that is slowly <laughs> clawing back the cubes. Yorick is playing with a lot of hopium, copium, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. But Do you think Snow is starting to panic a little bit? No, not yet. No. I think once it gets down to the last one or two games, like to two or four HP, yeah. this is where the panic starts to kick in. Londres, Sinistre. Uh, Sinister London. <laughs> Sinister London. <laughs> yep, is coming out. And that also usually is very good for the Sandman ramp deck. Just getting single big cards copied and therefore getting high power numbers without taking up too much space. True. Shuri also loves to see it though. At least the old Shuri, I'm That's not quite sure. Does new Shuri much. work? It only oh. works in one location. But yeah. it still copies the other one. Like, exactly. Yeah, so the, the big cards would still get copied and doubled. Which is of course very vulnerable to Shang-Chi, but... But would it get doubled twice? Would it get doubled once? Just, just once, right? I think... Once I'd need to need read the new Shuri's text again. I think it says if you play your next card here and the copied card is not played, this is added or yes. copied into it, so yes. it should not reactivate. Mm -hmm. Ebony Maw. Is it Rickety Bridge on the right? Yeah, it's Rickety Bridge. Oh it, no, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Rickety Bridge. Just go by the graphics. And well, there's two that look really similar: Rickety Bridge and the one that adds a rock to your side. 
Eternity something. Eternity range. Yeah, but Paw means bridge. Oh, My school okay. French is holding oh. up right here. Odin oh, gets Odin discarded. Gets and Moon Girl. Okay, Moon Girl is, is, is a Oh, lost. wait! Electro <gasps> and Arrow. Electro. Arrow. Electro is gone and Odin is gone. But the wave has already gotten some ramp. Oh, Doctor Doom. Doom! But it takes up so much space. Are you going to play it into Sinister London? Could also be Leader. Could be Leader, but the same thing. Your Sinister London is going to be blocked. These are all not optimal options. Oh, but Fisk Tower with arrow in hand? Yeah. Well, Snow lost the arrow. No, uh, Snow lost the arrow, but Yorick still has exactly. the arrow. Exactly. So and also we have Magneto, maybe? Yes. In, the deck, in the deck? Yeah, it's still going to potentially show up. So Yorick has more late game playmaking potential here. I think that is why... Oh, that is so smart, putting Mr. Fantastic in the middle, because... That's how you guarantee winning the right location, Rickety Bridge. Yes, and it can't get pulled by Magneto, so... That's true. I can't well, I guess you can pull it right with the Magneto. But this is still looking rough. The arrow into the middle is definitely a play that makes a ton of sense. Is there anything we can do? There is no Sandman, so we can play two cards. Y well, let's see if Snow can go for the Soul Read here. It would have to be Shang-Chi's stature into the but middle. But Sa Shang-Chi doesn't do anything. Our cards are too small. Yeah, but... Yeah, it would ha have to be just for tempo, and then you are trying to win the the left side just with She Hulk. It, it's not a lot of power, though. You can't be no, happy you, about it. No, you you don't even tie left because yeah. it's the just the stature. The stance, no. That is so unfortunate. That has to. The sunspot. He wanted to grow his sunspot. Yeah, that does make sense. The She Hulk is cheaper as well, like you said. Oh, Sandman I thought it was last turn. No, no. The, the, this is going to be the final turn, but. She Hulk did grow as well, and She Hulk can be played alongside Chang Chi here. Now that the arrow is gone, the, the She Hulk the will get she -Hulk copied. The She Hulk is not big enough. Chavez is going to get copied as well. 22 on Sinister London side, Fisk Tower. But the. Sh uh, um, Wait. Yorick has priority. Yorick has priority. <gasps> Shang Chi. Can Shang -Chi. <laughs> is this it? Is this the last game? This is a very complicated game, but, wait, but it seems like wait, Snow it has depends. control here. What if those two cards go into the middle, not right? And then the, the Chavez will stay. No, the, the, the left side Chavez always gets hit by Shang-Chi <gasps> and the right no, side... Oh, yeah, you're right! Happened. The you're Chavez, right. nobody went to the middle! Uh, to Nothing the right. got copied into the rickety bridge. <gasps> that is bridge. so unlucky. Yeah, you're absolutely... You, you're a prophet today. You're calling <laughs> things out and they just happen, as unlikely as they may be. <laughs> and that means Yorick is continuing the miracle comeback. And this is where now I, I would get tilted if I was in snowshoes. I would get frustrated. Do you think he should have played something into rickety bridge? Just to... But, but you can't he couldn't. really. No, he can't. Like the oh. Shang-Chi left would alone, I think, would only have tied it or still lost it. And yes. then you, you kind of, you just, it's a 25% chance to miss. You were 75% to unlucky. win there. The yeah. RNG is not on snow side at the moment. Yeah, the location RNG is not. I think he's starting not, to panic a little bit. Yeah. But this is very creative. With the Bifrost, you can play Ebony more. Mm -hmm. And still later on... Oh, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm almost surprised it didn't go middle. Because then you could still play Carson to the right side and Ebony more gets <gasps> moved in there. Ooh. Elysium! Elysium! This is interesting for both players. Everyone's favorite location. Yeah, it is. Uh, unless you're playing against Thanos, then it's just annoying. It is a ton of fun, though. Uh, Sandman could shut this down, but there's no Sandman in hand. So this might stay interesting. Snow wants Moon Girl in this situation. Snow wants Moon Girl and wants to copy cards like She-Hulk and yes. Stature to get a spam of very cheap and very very strong cards. Yorick is not very good at drawing Sandman. Nope. We've seen uh, the opposite in other series so far. Oh, you jinxed it. Oh, no. Nina, Sandman oh, I need to stop talking. I'm going to stop talking. Oh, and no. <laughs> and this is going to shut down <gasps> no, the Elysium oh, no. very effectively. Oh, I feel... So Huge Black Bolt coming in, discarding a wave. Doesn't matter much anymore. Oh, but who has Shang-Chi? Uh, uh, Snow Ro definitely plays Shang-Chi. Arrow in hand as well could be very useful in this matchup. But as of right now, Yorick holds the more impactful cards mm -hmm. with Devil, Dinosaur and Leader. Potentially Magneto even. Magneto that only puts the Shuri and it's just a, a big pile of stats here. Both players going through all the of their leader, options. Oh, no, the leader is going to come down, isn't it? This is a tough turn to make, a, a, a tough call to make. It could also be Dino first and then Leader on the final turn. Keep in mind we are still on turn 5. A yes. lot has happened because of Elysium. Or it could also be Doom and hope to draw um, Odin or Leader last turn. And it is oh. Doctor Doom, just oh. like you said. Arrow does get kind of countered by Doctor Doom. So oh, Yorick now you can't Odin it anymore. Oh, no, you can, you can, you can, you can Odin it. 
There is no Odin in hand anyway, it's fine. The thing is, oh, this yeah, is a perfect is setup true. for a leader right now. Because you are ahead in two locations. The worry has to be though, what if your opponent just floats energy with Sunspot here? I really, ho I really hope he does. That would be the big brain yeah. play. Snow is not going to retreat here. There's no point in retreating in battle mode if your opponent is at one mm -hmm. cube. And now it's just about the read that Snow makes. Stature can be played as well. It's just about floating enough energy with Sunspot. You can also just miss the fantastic middle. That is actually entirely true, but this would get copied, so... But That's it would still true. win because Sunspot yeah, gets Sunspot. Here. I think Yorick acknowledges defeat here because with Elysium, no matter what Snow plays, it's at least going to grow by one. Mm -hmm. And it only needs to go by, uh, grow by two for Yorick to get kicked out of the series here. Okay, does if... But he's scared of Odin, right? The Odin. If it's Odin, then he should play something. But if it's leader, then he shouldn't play anything. So it's like... Yeah, a, it's, a, a, it's a good point. Mind games. But even against leader, you can play something as long as it's not huge. And let, just let Sunspot carry the right side. True. So y I think Snow is just worried about Odin, just playing, like weighing options, playing, <gasps> thinking about oh, everything. Goes for the location. It is Mr. Fantastic again, like you predicted. Hold it. But the yes, Sunspot the growth sunspot. is going to take this game, and you can see the relief on Snow's face. Oh, that was that, that was probably so nerve wracking because he yeah. was he was at ten cubes, and then yeah. he went down all the way to four. Yeah. It was so, literally like yeah. from a movie script. 10 to 1, and we almost saw the miracle comeback, the reverse <laughs> sweep. But 4 cubes to 0 is the final result here, and Snow takes it with a very creative deck.